Toilet paper issues feature visuals but no text whatsoever. Do you believe that uh, visual arts are more effective when communicating messages to the people of our era? Uh, the choice of uh, using only images uh, and doesn't use any text, uh, I, we think it's very powerful because it makes you be able to communicate to different cultures around the world. You don't need to translate uh, an image. Of course, each culture can be and has a different uh, way to interpret it, our symbolism, but uh, I think that it's the strength, uh, the very big strength of the magazine. What will the legacy of Toilet Paper magazine be in the future in the world of magazines and art? I can see every day young people that uh, are still uh, uh, big fans of uh, what what we do, and uh, that is the biggest uh, um, the, the strength, the, the big, biggest energy that give to me to to go on and produce more uh, more works and more images. And uh, I think toilet paper imaginary is uh, reflect a lot uh, our today's life. How did you decide to launch toilet paper in Greece? What makes this market? Desirable to you. Greece, in particular, has always been a big partner with us, with toilet paper projects since the beginning, um, and uh, we find that we have a lot of in common uh, uh, in terms of uh, lifestyle and a way to to think, communication, creativity, art, and. Um, and so it, it's quite natural for us to be here today. Thank you very much. Grazie. Thank, Thank you. you.